Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, The Take Your Life Back Today radio show, in combination with the YouTube version on the channel on YouTube, Take Your Life Back Today show, in a video aspect. I want to talk about uh, life's uh, defining stages. Where are you right now? From birth till death, there are four life defining stages. We all grow, develop, mature as we continue to move in life. For some, the transition from one stage to another feels like a natural process, while for others, they find themselves stuck in a stage for decades. Sadly, some might even skip a stage without learning the uh, important lessons of uh, a given stage. There are a few uh, distinct stages of life we go through once we are ready. These stages are true for all humans throughout the course of their life. By closely watching the life of our mentors, family and friends, uh, this allows one to recognize patterns behind these different phases of life. This can help you shift gears when it comes to your own growth and your pursuit of success. And stage one limitations uh, um, and education. The first stage represents all the basics of life. You learn how to walk, talk, and do simple tasks like feeding yourself. In this stage, life is focused around education and building your uh, uh, fundamental f f uh, lifetime ahead. How? Simply imitating what you see others do. All those adults around you, your teachers, your parents, even superheroes, they'll show you how to function. As a baby, you, you are helpless and dependent upon others for survival. You, you're, uh, you're basically just eat, sleep, and breathe. Your mind is at peace while your brain develops, picking up sensory abilities and motor skills. By later childhood, you moved on to more challenging tasks while still depending on adults to guide and direct you. By imitating others, you gradually develop social and similar skills and you learn to fit in uh, with society. You start to observe the rules and the norms that surround you. You want to be accepted by society and therefore you obey to these rules and adapt to those norms. The basic ob objective of all this is, is to help us become self-regulated adults. Please keep in mind that you are still dependent upon uh, others for guidance and seek for their uh, approval. Out of all the stages of life, this one helps us to, to lie the proper foundation in our lives. You remain in the first stage from birth until late adolescence or early adulthood. The greatest danger you can encounter during this particular stage is, is that you are unable to let go of, of the need for external validation. You might get trapped by adults that do not approve of uh, you becoming independent. Some adults are simply not suited for teaching. They come up with forms of punishment that can prevent us from developing true independence. When you have the courage to place your personal values above the validation of others and start acting for yourself, the next stage is entered. It's not hard to make decisions once you know what your values are. I, uh, I want you to believe that. Stage two, exploration and self-discovery. As the first stage taught you to fit in, the second stage will teach you to stand apart. In this time of your life, you are ready to discover who you really are. You are now making your own decisions and learning what makes uh, you unique from others. The end of adolescence marks the beginning of your journey into adulthood, which is the longest phase of the human life cycle. You completed your education and, you f and your focus lies now on acquiring a good job. It is time where you start to explore life and go out to leave your mark on this uh, beautiful world. In addition, you develop a strong desire to explore life and it increases your willingness to take risks. You start to experiment with new and exciting possibilities. You will make many, and I mean many, mistakes learning from trial and error. 
You will live in many places, try different food, and experiment with all sorts of activities. You might have a uh, numerous relation, amount of relationships with both lovers and friends in this stage as well. The second stage can be extremely pleasurable and exciting. Therefore, some people simply do not wish to ever leave this stage. Instead of allowing their development to unfold, they prefer to continue life on this particular level. As well, at, at some point, you will notice that your limitations and it will anger you. You probably start off by not accepting these limitations and push to try to achieve them regardless. With time, you learn that your limitations are real and that they are a good thing. They show you what you're bad at and after all, you can't be great at everything. The second stage is accomplished once we realize that we uh, have to be selective about what we do. Limitations will help you transition into stage three. If you accept your limitations, you go beyond them. Stage three, dedication and commitment. So, you have allowed your developments to unfold and accept, accepted your limitations. In the third stage, you begin to arrange your priorities as you see fit. In stage three, you uh, uh, see what you are good at and what benefits your life, also called being selective. You don't want to bring needless luggage from stage two with you into stage three. This could be people who hold you down, unhealthy activities, material attachments, or places. After you have cut away the unimportant aspects, you start to get serious about uh, uh, what you have kept. For an example, your focus is now your career and development of young family. Stage 3 marks a great number of responsibilities, not only for yourself, but also for others. At this point, you start to build your legacy. Building your legacy is about leaving something behind when you are gone. At stage three, you begin the foundation for this legacy, including priorities and responsibilities. Most people in stage three have the desire to leave the world a better place than how they found the world when they came. For some, the ambition is to accomplish even more uh, never comes to an end. People are so used to constantly striving for more they have anxiety with the outlook of retirement. And once that day comes, the hunger for accomplishments and power starts to haunt them and they miss out on the next important stage in life. <clears throat> Friends, dreams and dedication <clears throat> are a powerful combination. Dreams and dedication are a powerful combination. Stage 4 is retirement or passing down your legacy. Whenever you reach stage 4, you have probably spent a half a century investing in yourself. Perhaps, you, perhaps you've gotten married and had children and nailed your dream job during these stages of life. Maybe you've been, managed to live a comfortable life. Then again, maybe you experience a uh, turbulent life filled with adventure and misfortune. Either way, stage 4 is the conclusion of life, lived well or not. At this stage, unfortunately, you can no longer afford discoveries and adventures. Stage 4 is about ensuring the legacy is passed down to you, uh, uh, your or other children and teaching and helping them move through their life stages in a healthy manner. This stage is about finding meaning in life and death. It offers us the chance to make sure something of us continues to live on in this world, even when we are long gone. Death, my friends, is not the greatest loss in life. The greatest loss in life is what dies inside us while we live. While we live. Call me at 844 help Together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourself and always be good to other people. A simple smile to that old man and old lady living next door to you can change their life and their day daily and can even help you live your four stages in life to the best of your ability and always include God in your stages in life. May God bless you and have a blessed day and take good care of yourselves. Take care. May God bless you. Bye-bye now.